Hello, my name is Julie Skinner. Um, I'm now 61 years of age. I was born and bred around Pottery Bank area, Walker, Newcastle. I grew up around the noise and the hustle and bustle of the shipyards in the background. Um, over the years, went through a good few launches, including the SO Northumbria. Um, in all day, you would hear these noises because we live practically next door to the the shipyards. So you'd hear all of these, like you know, the like you see when they were in the early days when they were actually building the ships, and you'd see if you are passing to go, I don't know, you'd be walking down maybe the Walls End. You know, um, if we're going to the bus, so you'd walk past the shipyards and you'd see the cranes and it, what you see on the telly, where they're actually building the ship itself, they're big, massive bits of huge bits of steel stuff. You know, you'd you'd actually hear all that clanging together, or um, just the the noise of it was. I can't describe it. I can still hear it in my mind. But you cannot really describe the noises. It was just heavy industry noise. It was something you you just grew up with because you were you were born in that noise was there forever and ever to see in the the one o'clock buzzer, the half past seven buzzer or you would wait for the one o'clock buzzer and you'd say, Your watch is wrong. If it, that's if they had a watch. Put that clock right. Because the clock's five minutes slow or two minutes slow or five minutes fast. So everybody set their clocks and watches by the shipyards. That's what you've done. I never thought for one day, you know, I'd actually go to work in the shipyards, which I did. 1983, I went to work in the shipyards. Um, 13 week as I called it. I worked on York Royal. Um, and I met some lovely people. I still have friends today that I actually made in the shipyards. Um, it was hard work, very hard work, uh, cleaning. It wasn't like your average cleaner of today. You know, then we had a, a, mop, a bucket, um, a brush and shovel, all made by hand in the shipyards. So I used to walk around the decks picking rubbish up in sweeping the deck over and over again. Um, you got moved from different decks on the ship. The Orkroyd was a huge, massive naval ship, aircraft carrier. Anyhow, one day in particular, um, the ship was nearing completion by this stage. We had to go down and remove some paint from the double bottoms, as I remember. Um, they were put down like this open hatch which at the time didn't have any iron ladders or anything to get down. And it was quite small, but because me and a friend were the smallest cleaner, well, the smallest ladies, let's put it that way, were asked to go down and clean this paint off. Um, the product we had to clean was, we used to call it skidoo, it was an acid base. And if it got on you, it burnt. Because there was no ladders in this hatch, were well, actually got a rope tied around with and asked to climb over and the load were down right onto the bottoms. We were bucket in one arm and were cleaning rags in the other hand and everything was in your bucket. I remember the, the, the smell of the fumes, it used to get a bad head. The lads who helped were over um, with this bit of rope tied around our race. It was a quite thick bit of rope. Um, and then it was said, well, when you are finished, just yank on the rope and we'll pull you back up. And that's what we did. And I can't remember whether we're down there. It could have been an hour, it could have been two hours. I can't really remember. And we just got on with it. And we had a laugh, you know, um, me and the lass who I was with. And we'd done what we needed to do and... So if you you got your, you know, little splash remarks on your wrist, obviously, which was more often than not. Um, and it, it used to literally just bubble the paint. You would watch the paint actually just bubble up. And then you got your rags, because that's all the way bits of rag, or your wire wool, and um, you wiped it off, 
and like scrubbed it off with the wire wool and cleaned it off as the best you could. So it was left with just like, just this bare big nut or bolt or whatever it was that were cleaning. You know, we used to be ready for dinner or whatever. You used to have 10 minutes because we worked in the naval yard. So you used to leave the, the ship, come down the gangway, 10 to 12, um, to have 10 minutes to walk up the bank, because the naval yard was quite a canny long bank. So you could leave, get home, get your dinner and be back in plenty of time to start your afternoon. You used to have a break in the afternoon for cup of tea and then you'd be back out on the, the decks um, and carry on where you left off. You could see, you know, when you were walking around the decks, even though some of them were like covered over with, it looked like a plastic lino type of thing, obviously to protect the deck underneath. When all that got lifted off, you, you ended up on your hands and knees actually scrubbing the metal decks. On your hands and knees, you had nothing to knee on. So I've got a bit dodgy knee to this day, but you actually cleaned down on your hands and knees. If you had to get above one of the bulkheads, again, because I was quite small, I could fit into little spaces. So I used to like climb up, just climb on things to get to where I needed to be and clean up there and then get back down. The size of the Ark Royal, she was absolutely massive. I can't remember how many decks she had. I really can't remember because I didn't take that much notice. I just know she was a huge, massive, big ship. Then there was trails when, like I say, she was near completion. The trails came and the women were never, ever allowed on trails. Apparently it was bad luck. So I was told. However, um, I was one of the chosen few. Um, but as it happened, I had just fallen pregnant. So I wasn't allowed to go. <clears throat> I was pretty devastated. You know, that was just by the by, by that time. Um, but I just, I absolutely, I would say in all the jobs I've done, mainly cleaning, the shipyards had to come second best. First best is I'm a dog lover and I went to work in a dog salon years later. But the shipyards, I was so proud to have worked down the shipyards. Even for them, too short, yeah, that I worked there, but I loved it. The friend friendliness of everybody, the majority of people came from down the dwellings, Pottery Bank, Everstone Gardens, St Anthony's Road, all around them areas. Whether it was your dad, your granddad, or it could have been your mum or your auntie, or a majority of the family would have worked down there. You just sort of went, obviously, where the work was years later, when in the when work was drying up in the 80s, early 80s. But prior to that, I mean, my brother was an apprentice down the yards. My dad worked there, my uncles worked there, my aunties cleaned down there. It was just the shipyards was the main industry, I would say, down on the banks of the River Tyne, you know. Um, so, yeah, I was proud to have worked down there for the short length of time I went. Absolute hard work, very hard work in the shipyards. Today, health and safety would be, whoa, you know, wouldn't be allowed, but, you know, I loved it. I really did, and it's the one job I'm proud to have done. And I can always say, I worked on the Ark Royal. <laughs>